Hello everyone and uh, welcome back. Uh, we are back with another board game night and tonight we are playing uh, Maki. And ooh, <laughs> well, I've been trying just to be in the middle of the screen there. <laughs> uh, 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 thank you once again there for the um, uh, for, 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 for the bits there, JD. <laughs> so you can always grab that thing when it comes up on the middle of the screen there. <laughs> Um, what was I saying? Uh, right. this, this is the the Mackie second edition uh, that was, uh, it was it was Kickstarter funded. It arrived, I think it arrived before Christmas, but I only actually opened it uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and how to go? It's a really nice, uh, easy worker placement game. Um, we're going to go through the same. We're saying when we do all the board game nights, uh, I'm going to go through the, the the basic description of the game, the the setup of the game, the rules. Um, we're going to do. We're actually going to do three playthroughs if time permits, and possibly a quiz. <laughs> uh, I do have cards ready for for uh, for a quiz uh, if we uh, if we have time. Um, but we're going to go through, as I said, three playthroughs. One we are going to do. The first playthrough is going to be by the books the exact same way as it is illustrated in the destructions and after that we are going to do the other two playthroughs with my one tiny tweak to the rules to make it a little bit more realistic it does actually increase the difficulty but i think it, it makes more sense <laughs> but okay uh we'll get the uh, the box out of the way hopefully i won't knock the power cable for the light i don't know what's going on with the the close-up camera's light it's all got a bit weird <laughs> But uh, I thought we'd start off with this is the, the back of the board because the, the components and the artwork on this is really, really good. So, you can see there, that's the uh, the town. Uh, I, I, actually, I don't know, does the town have a name? I think we'll call it Nuvion. <laughs> and we'll uh, we'll flip it over. So this is our, our game board. I just realised, why am I wearing my headphones? Uh, what, what have we got there? Um, uh... Oh, it's been it's been, uh, it's been a long day uh, uh, for you there, JD. Been um, actually, I know I know you weren't feeling too well yesterday, but um, I, I take you. I'm having plenty of rest today, and uh, you come so I can put you to sleep. <laughs> and um, oh, you, you knackered as well there, uh, Roldy. <laughs> and how's your head as well there, Wolf? Because uh, I know after you, well, similar to me, you you uh, both uh, been knackered after having the uh, like we're both knackered after having the um, uh, the jabs. <laughs> okay, okay. Where shall I begin with this one then? So, as we are going to be sending our uh, resistance fighters, which are these fellas here. Um, well, can we see? Yes, you can just see. I'm just making sure you can see the that other one there. Just says field. We have two fields there. So we will be sending our workers out to do different things, to gather up different supplies or perform different actions and come back uh, with the end goal each time of completing one of two missions. There is quite a few missions to choose from. Uh, each of the missions are denoted by a different difficulty by the stars. Uh, we have the two star ones, got loads of those. Uh, a handful of the one stars. Uh, and we also have these ones here are the no stars. These are the like the introductory missions, which is what we're going to be doing today to explain all the bits and bobs. But there's also with the Kickstarter for the second edition, there's also these the um, these like extra extra size cards. Now, as always, we will once we've done our playthroughs, we will go through each and every one of these, and we will go through the destructions for each of them uh, on the close-up cam, so we can all there uh, we can all read them there. Okay. Now, I didn't prepare any notes, which I really should have. Because <laughs> I thought my, my rules explanation on the last one that we did was a little bit haphazard. <laughs> um, what's it there, fact, for the... Yeah, no, but I'm pleased that I put that code in. I, I said I put that that backup code in uh, like two years ago. Uh, just it just takes a backup of the player character data, not the whole server because it's too big to compress. Uh, but it just takes the backup of the player data, and it only takes me two minutes just to pull it out and then I go up the whitelist and match up your UUID, and then put your backup data back in there. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Uh, shall we do the setup first, or shall I go through some of the, the basic actions that we're going to perform? Um, we'll go through, I suppose, the, the, uh, some of the actions. So, that's it. We, we have... Um, our mission is to complete two of these cards. Uh, and we're going to be as I said, sending our workers out across the board. We have... There's a set of days here. There's day markers here to say, uh, as we're progressing through time, each time we do our uh, uh, day's uh, moves. And each day will consist of... Uh, three stages one we will 
uh, turn by turn send one of our players out uh, once we send one of our players out we then have the Melise uh, the Melise being the um, th these are the traitors, these are the collaborators uh, these are uh, thugs uh, that uh, the Germans occupying force recruited um, to uh, harass and uh, arrest the um, resistance fighters. <laughs> so we'll be uh, getting these um, these air uh, guys. We're getting placed out on the board as well there. So every time we make a move, the Malice make a move, and to decide where they're going to go on the board, we have this deck of ten patrol cards. Um, Ooh, what's that? I missed some of the explanation. Chrissy just uh, dropped a baby on me. <laughs> Give that Chrissy a good slap. <laughs> uh, as I said, we will be sending uh, each time we send one of our workers out, we will be getting one of the uh, the Malice. I'll explain in a, in, a, in a few moments there uh, the actual more more detail of how these uh, these different moves work, uh, and we'll do like a couple of little simulations just for uh, just for demonstration. Um. Okay, so as I said, uh, we have so we move our characters out, and each one of these squares, um, and certain actions can be performed. Uh, well, I say most of them. So some of them, uh, like the bridges, uh, don't. But you know, <laughs> so we can travel out as it's a worker placement game. We'll go to different places to gather up necessary resources to do different things. So, like, so if we sent our character up to the doctor, uh, he would get a uh, some medicine. We will be doing that in one of the missions I've got planned today. So he will get the medicine, and then he will bring that back home, so that we can uh, we have that in our inventory. And that is actually where my slight modifications to the rules will take place, because it says in the rules that it, that if say he gets the medicine and brings it back here. Uh, that medicine now is available for another character who might be up here, say for example, who needs to spend a medicine. Um, I, I don't personally think that's right. Uh, so I decided to increase the difficulty of the game for myself, so that when when an item comes back, it can't be used till the next day, basically. Uh, but I am going to do the first playthrough is going to be completely by their rules. Um, so one of the things that we've got here, uh, we have two radio stations. Uh, the radio stations can be used to uh, either get intelligence, so you're radioing in, um, or we can uh, ask for an airdrop, which can be dropped off to the field, so we can get like money, food, and uh, a gun, which is, I, I believe it's the easiest way to get the gun, uh, which we'll be doing in the very first move, <laughs> which uh, we'll, we'll go into that, as I say, uh, when we actually do the playthrough. But I said, there's other things that can gather up, you know, if we have a worker up here, he can bring food back. We do need food if we want to um, get another resistance fighter. So we have here, we send them to Rene's Cafe, you know, we sneak in and we do the uh, the whole, you know, listen very carefully, I shall say this what he wants. <laughs> and then we can uh, we can gather up the uh, another, another um, resistance fighter. Uh, okay, referring to the notes that I didn't make very well. Um, right, the town has a morale track, so... As things progress, for example, as the day advances into an orange day, uh, which is a parade day, uh, the morale of the town drops, and that will be tracked by this little fella here. Now, now I just say the components on this are really good. This is a uh, like a double thick card, so you've got you know the solid card on the back, and then you've got these little slots so that your um, your little marker doesn't fall out. <laughs> But uh, what we'll be doing on this one, we will be tracking the morale of the town and the number of soldiers that are, are going to be um, um, attacking us. But I'll get the soldiers in a second once I explain this. So, you see here, we start the morale here on this slot here. And the three indicates the number of Melis that are available. Um, and as we progress through, as the mor morale drops... Uh, morale can drop through certain mission criteria. Uh, depending on the difficulty you play, morale can drop when a um, character will get arrested. I uh, say. Um, two seconds, I thought I was going to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah as, as the morale drops so you see there as morale drops more melees come out um, and also if we hire more resistance workers there will be it, it, it doesn't if it, even though it says three if we have four resistance fighters and we are still in the three it will still uh we will still put out four in that case they have to be in balance basically right we'll pop that out there 
Uh, we'll pop that there. Uh, what have we got there? We've got some egg counts going on there. <laughs> so what have we got for uh, JD has from 84 hours, oh, just under 20k. You might reach that 20k mark tonight. Uh, and also that is with 60k of the regular eggs. Um, Royalty has, oh, what's this notification? This is popping up. Oh, <laughs> um, where was I up to? Uh, Royal T has uh, 4,500 with 7.5 of the regular eggs. And Wolf has 5,000 with ooh, almost 100. You'll breach that, breach that in no time. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go through some of the next phase. As I said, um, we have the morale track, which is related to the Melisa. And I'll go into the Melisa now uh, because every time we move out a player, as I said, uh, another player. Uh, the 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 Melisse will get deployed based on whatever is on this card. So let's just go with that one there. So for example, on this one, if we draw this one, the the Melisse character will place on the fence, and what they're going to do is they're going to block us, basically. So when they're deployed, they will block us from getting back home, and anyone who cannot make it to the safe house at night, at the end of the uh, end of the play, who can't return is arrested and is never seen again that's that player meeple out of the out of the game so if for example we had let's see we had a guy here uh we had a guy on the black market say um so we've got this guy here he's trying to get back to the safe house now technically he can just go well he can't uh he can go all the way around this way uh but if he tries to go this way of course he can't because the police is there so there has to be a clean line of um travel to get back if uh let's we'll leave him on the black market if another one of the police officers was say on the fence see this guy now there's no road he can't get out this way to get back to the safe house and he can't double back that way and that's that's him in the in the nick <laughs> There is a way, though, uh, well, two ways that you can get out of it. One, if uh, our player has the gun tokens, we can uh, then shoot a um, at one of the melees. Uh, that puts them out of the game. However, that will cause the soldier track to come into play because we start off with zero on the soldiers. I have just popped one of the soldier meeples out here. Uh, now, when the soldier meeples are deployed, they cannot be... Um, uh, they cannot be shot. So once they're in play, that, 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 that's it. You know, if, if they're blocking your way, that's it. You, you know, you're destined for the clink. <laughs> uh, what's that? Uh, arrested and detained. Uh, life sentences. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Very short sentences, unfortunately. They'll be uh, with uh, brief detentions, uh, but no escape <laughs> with the uh, the occupying forces. Uh, but as I said, there is one other way that you can avoid the Melisse. Uh, if you see here, there are spare rooms. Now, what these spare rooms do is we have to, well, first of all, we've got to get two money to uh, rent the room, basically. And when you rent that room, you can then have, put one of these guys who's basically like he was living, living in the flat sort of thing. Uh, and there's quite a few of these different rooms to choose from and each have different effects. So the one of the one that we're going to be concentrating on on one of the missions tonight that I've got planned is we're going to get the uh, the chemists. So the chemist, for example, if we were to have a medicine, he will give us an explosive. Um, but we, of course, we, we have to land on one of these spots. We have to pay our two money back into the pool. And that means that we can then put chemist on there and we have those three slots there to be able to uh, to, to hold one of those once it's down it can't be changed so once it's down there but what i was saying is another way of getting out is you can buy another safe house <laughs> so depending on the complexity of the missions you probably want to uh, i think this spot here would probably be the best spot for making more safe houses these ones here are more or less dead ends if you if, if someone was to land on the black market with a, a melee that that's it those two squares are screwed and this is the only one way out so if someone gets hit on the grocer that's it <laughs> they're, they're knackered <laughs> right let's pop those there so that's what there is a, a variety of different things that you can gather depending on what spot you land on what you might order or what you do with a spare room so we have the fake ids we have money uh medicine uh poison uh intel we have food we have the dynamite and we have the gun this one here is a um anti-aircraft weapon and that is only available i believe 
it's just part of this one mission here, but we are not going to be tackling this one. I haven't even begun to tackle these third ones yet. I'm struggling to get through some of the two-player ones. But if, if I wasn't if, if I wasn't imposing my extra difficulty level on it, probably would have been a lot easier. <laughs> oh, I've just smacked myself in the ear. <laughs> uh, what's that there? Um, uh, the Swedish military is uh, gearing up... Um, Oh, it, 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 uh, 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 Russia calls him more bother again. Kind of play nicely, can he? <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Are you ready, ready to start a fire to liberate liberate France? Oh, speaking of that, is the music at an okay level? Because um, I, I didn't have time to do a proper test on it. Uh, it was all a bit of a rush because I, I would have normally done it all last night, but we, we you know, somebody made me stream really late last night. I, I don't know who it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can, can we grab it? Can we grab it? <laughs> Thank you once again, JD, for the um, uh, for, for the for the bits there. <laughs> uh, the music at an all right level there, is it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I thought I put my Prussian cafe on. It seemed to make it it, it made uh, it made made it more um, uh, more appropriate. <laughs> Okay, we'll go through the. We've gone through. I've gone through like the the basic rules now. Is there anything else that in these notes that I would? Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain a little bit more about the the, the placement in a moment. Uh, right, we've gone over the the different things that we can get to perform different actions. Um. Oh yeah, mission actions. I'll come on to mission actions in a moment. We'll do, we'll do the player board first, and then we'll do the mission actions because that'll be easier to explain. Uh, okay, so uh, next I'll go through a couple of little scenarios um, of uh, ooh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the placement. <laughs> so the way a turn will flow is right. Let's say I want to move. I, I send I send our little uh, resistance fighter up to the doctors. So this is how the, how you how you move will uh, what, what each turn will will uh, go through. So you have your little starting places. Actually, we should probably put this... Uh, I'll do a, a quick uh, thing of the actual full setup before we do that so that it explains it a little bit easier. Can I, can I grab that when it buzzes in my... <laughs> uh, fact, fact, you once again there for the uh, for the bits there, JD. Uh, right, I'm just going to move my microphone back a bit so I can reach you over here. So what I'll do is for the, for the setup is really easy. We have our three resistance fighters to start with, which are on our safe house. We have two extra ones which we can purchase with food uh, which are sat next to the cafe you know they're all there uh, and obviously enjoying their cheese and wine in the afternoon <laughs> uh, and we have the Melise now what I like to do is the Melise that are in play I like to put them just on the top here so that I can slide them across the board it just makes them that a little bit easier <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you can only handle five. You know, if if I if I hadn't have felt so tired, I would have happily done all of those uh, gastropods last night. <laughs> but I, I, I was I was starting to uh, start starting to like like lose it a little bit. <laughs> um, okay, I said we, we you start off with uh, three, um, as and then what one could do as well is a slight slight deviation to what it says in the instructions. Right, we have these three little tracking dots. Okay, we have the red one, which tracks the number of the soldiers. Now that makes sense because the red is the same color as the, the soldier meeples. Now to start off, we place that on zero because there's no soldiers in play. Now, in the manual, it says you put the blue one as your day tracker and the white one as your release tracker. Now that doesn't make any visual sense to me. So <laughs> the blue marker we are going to place to track the release. Now the release start on the starting block there where there is three of them. So we'll put that in there. And then we have our day tracker, which we also want to place in the start. And as I said, the, as we progress down here, uh, some missions will bring this little arrow into play. It basically means that you, we advance the morale track down uh, on those days. If not, then it's on a parade day, which is the orange days. Um, and each time we go on a parade day, the morale track moves down, and that has the potential of bringing more Melis in. However, though, as I said, if we get additional resistance fighters, the Melis level goes up anyway. We don't have to move the morale track up, but we uh, can uh, put the... Um, 
uh, we have to put the other the other rare uh, meeple, uh, meeples on. And I, I will say as well, uh, a note, that when you do deploy the um, the soldiers, the soldiers' uh, meeples will get deployed last. So we put the monies down first, and the final one will be the soldier, uh, or more, as, as you swap them around. Factfully, so far in my playthroughs, I have not had to worry about, because the missions that I've got planned for us tonight are not an issue. <laughs> Okay, so a basic turn will play out. So I put, I'm going to send him the doctor, say. Uh, then we have our deck of patrol cards. I'm just going to jumble that up. Take the first one, Radio B. So I would put the first fella on Radio B. Then I'll choose the second one. We'll just put him on the poor district. And then put that in the discard pile. We get our second one out, the fence. So he will go on the fence. So at the minute, these guys have a clear path home still. Let's put that there, and I don't know, maybe we will send the last one in this example to the uh, the grocer. And uh, right, uh, brilliant. We can finally get an example. <laughs> so now we have the, the grocer. Now the grocer space is occupied. So then we go to the second one here, which is the poor district. This is a really good example. <laughs> this is, we've really done a good one here. Um, the, the, the grocer space is occupied. Oh. <laughs> yep, flip it. <laughs> flip the cards. <laughs> the poor district is occupied. And also in our case, the doctor's uh, is occupied. So this, this can't go here. This also counts if there's also another Melisse on that slot. Um, so that goes through there and all those spots just happen to be occupied. So what happens then is the uh, Melisse then goes into arrest mode. Um, did that make you jump royalty? <laughs> uh, so, so I said, the, uh, uh, if, if the Melisse can't be placed when it goes cycles down through the three, whether there be a... Um, uh, actually, you know what? We will, just for demonstration purposes, we will swap these around because it'll, it'll make it a little more clearer. Um, so you can't, you can't go on that space because there's already Melisse there. You can't go on the poor district because we're already there and you can't go there. So what happens now is he goes into a rest mode. So you go back to the top. First one, grocer. He can't arrest the other Melisse because that's his mate. Poor district, arrested. And that's him away. And the Melisse officer is there. If he goes through and just by by chance, the they can't actually arrest anyone because maybe it's all three of those slots already have a Melisse on it, then it means that, that that fella is just not played. He goes home, goes to bed. He's had enough. He goes there, uh, goes and has a... Um, uh, uh, you know, Coco's has his, his, uh, his, his glass of wine by the river. <laughs> okay. Um, what's that there? Uh, did someone want their, their favourite sound? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Not the sound. Actually, can I turn the microphone around here? It's a bit weird with the, the camera setup because we've got this one here. The microphone arm and the camera arms are really, really close. Um... <laughs> try it <laughs> all right let's uh, pop that there there is one thing that i'm going to have to refer to in the manual because i just i cannot remember it each time is the uh, the airdrops uh, uh, in, in the airdrops we have to choose either a weapon uh one money or three food um and every time i keep on having to remind myself how many food is it that i'm allowed to get so i keep on i mean i got to write that down that th this player aid is not it should really have this on here to be fair <laughs> Uh, but this player raid as well. Actually, we'll stick this on the on the zoomy in. <laughs> there we go. So that's telling you what um, uh, you know. So it tells you about the spare room, the uh, the uh, what the different symbols mean. Because you see, the symbols are all uh, scattered around next to the map. I mean, towards the end, we'll maybe put try and get the map under the close up cam so you can see it in uh, in uh, in detail. Um, I think as well, different squares can also gain you morale or lose morale, so you can recoup it a little bit uh, as you go. Uh, but there's also this one here. Um, if you're on one of these squares and you get arrested, um, you're still allowed to complete the action if it's got the shield on it. Uh, so that's like, like, same something like putting down the a spare room. You can still put it down there, but unfortunately, you um, whilst trying to escape, you were gone down. But you know, your your work still still you know. <laughs> You'll work towards liberating France. Uh, okay. Um, we're going to try this. Actually, I'll, I'll rotate it this way and it should stay away from the camera.
<laughs> right, let's just tighten that screw. I'll just, I'll do that very, very carefully because I don't want to knock the camera out of the way. <laughs> okay, that screw is roughly, roughly back in place. <laughs> he just likes to torture you, Rothy. <laughs> Okay, next I'm going to move on to the mission cards. So, let's just take a look at an example of, of some of the missions here that we can uh, we can see. As I said, these ones are the introductory ones, so there's no star value on them at all. So, I'll pop those there. So, we have uh, these are actually the missions that we're going to do first. So we'll have a little closer look at them. So, we've got the Officer's Mansion and the uh, Melise Parade Day. So... <laughs> Covered it up, but uh, 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 welcome in and, uh, and thank you for the uh, thank you for the follow there. Uh, it's board game night tonight, <laughs> and we are playing uh, Maki. Uh, yeah, we're, we're attempting to liberate our town from the occupying forces, <laughs> and we're just going through the um, the rules and some of the explanations of some of the other. Um, uh, we're actually up to the rules and explanations of the the missions. <laughs> so each time we play, we get uh, two quests. Well, I should say as well, there's the book game board at the back there. It's <laughs> just for, for those coming in. Um, but these are the missions, as I said. So we'll, we'll look through the, the officer's uh, mansion there first. Uh, so uh, a local commander um, has commandeered a, a fancy house north of the town. Uh, we need to make sure he uh, knows that he will uh, uh, never have us um, cowed. So uh, place a worker on a uh, room... Uh, uh, I, okay, we're going to have loads of fun here with the pronunciations, aren't we? <laughs> so, um, uh, what was I saying? So we have to play, uh, place a worker on um, uh, Rue Baradat, uh, Point Levesque, and uh, Port de, de Nord. That's just... Uh, well, uh, yeah, it's North Bridge, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, and we have to write the uh, anti-fascist graffiti. Uh, or, or it says place a marker during the action phase uh, to graffiti. I'm going to do that slightly inverted. Now you see here we have these markers up here. So what I'm going to do is actually we'll do that now because it's part of the mission criteria. Uh, so what you would normally do is as you move your character out, so if we went up here to, to here, we would then graffiti it. However, so that I can visually see everything a little bit more clearly, uh, I'm going to actually place the, the markers here and then when we go to these spots, I will then take away the marker to signify that, it, that it's done. Uh, and we also, with the actions that we perform as well, as I was saying, when we go on to each one of these slots, uh, oops, then you dropped it. <laughs> uh, we can only perform one action. So if, let's say, we had to do something on there, um, I could send up my character up here. He could do the mission criteria, but he couldn't, couldn't come home with the medicine. So it's a choice one or the, one or the other. Uh, right, we'll place the, those are the markers there for that first mission. So, what we do is we have to visit each one of these places once to graffiti it, and then what we do is we then have to on a, on a, another day's move, we then have to come and we you see the roads that come out of the town. We will then use one of our characters to come up and land on this space. So we'll put that mission card just up there. So. This will take well several days to complete over the course of the uh, the game, and then we also have here one here which is the Melise Police Day, uh, parade day. Even. <laughs> so the police are holding a parade around town. A uh, brave uh, volunteer must show their defiance. Uh, they uh, probably won't. Uh, they probably won't make it back. So in this actual mission criteria, we won't. Uh, we we will actually lose this uh, this player. Uh, so we have to get we have to get a weapon, which means we have to get some money to buy it. We can buy the money, uh, a gun from the fence for one money, or we can use the uh, the radio to uh, radio it in. Um, oh, uh, 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 welcome in there as well. <laughs> We're um, uh, doing a board game night tonight. <laughs> Do you actually have more? Because uh, uh, all the Kickstarters all arrived at once, so we've got a stack of these board games we're going to have to be doing on the on the streams. <laughs> uh, right, what was I saying there? So we have. Um, oh, are you off to work now, Wolf? Or if everyone of their safe rooms, Wolf, uh, Wolf's on the move. <laughs> but, uh, no, no worries, mate. Well, thanks for coming in, and we'll let, we'll, we'll we'll catch you uh, catch you later on. <laughs> um. What was I saying there? So, for this mission there, um, 
You see there the parade days, which are the days in orange, which you can see on the day tracker there, just to the side. Uh, we have to send, we have to get get a gun, and on one of those days, we have to put a um, put one of our characters on this spot here, which is this spot just here. <laughs> you just see on the side there. Um, uh, well, morale will increase by one, but this mission will uh, will also technically decrease it by one, so morale will just stay the same. At least the way the difficulty level we're going to be playing on. Uh, and also on this day, uh, this road here, connecting these two spaces, is also closed, so we can't use that as a uh, for any escape route. Um, but that, that shouldn't be a problem because, uh, as I said, we're gonna we're gonna play through it now using the rules in the book, and then we're gonna play through the same mission again, but with my slight more difficult variant. There is, if I just hop into the back of here, there is several difficulty variations that we can use uh, and what we are going to be doing is we're going to be taking um, an element from one of the difficulty settings in that whenever we get arrested we lose a morale because that would I think makes it more realistic uh, and also uh, there's also the option where you can uh, that I'm going to add which is that whenever we get something from one of these places we can't use it on that day. We're going to have to, because we've got to bring it back to base so that it's a resource that somebody can then go out with the following day. Just makes a lot more sense. <laughs> but we're going to do a quick playthrough because it'll be done in like a few minutes of uh, the way that the rules technically intended, where we have everything available to us, uh, which means it plays a, an awful lot faster. Uh, it makes it, I think, just a bit too easy. <laughs> Okay, let's, uh, let's give our patrol cars a quick shuffle. Okay, so we have our day tracker is on zero. We have our Melisse counter, which is on the starting position, and the soldier counter, which is on zero. Uh, now for our first mission, oh, actually I should, uh, I'll highlight something else just on the mission cards very quickly. If you can see there, this uh, mission marker block here is a dotted line. Dotted line means that the mission has to be completed somewhere else. So in this case, it's because we have to go to that space, the uh, Rue Barrett, and um, uh, that's where we complete that mission card. Uh, and this one has a solid frame, which means that it, it has to be completed. We have to put the final move on here. Some of the other mission cards, if I could just get the example, you have some more here which have different things that have to be done in different orders. So like so this one here that we're going to be doing next as well is we have to visit this square, square place to gather reconnaissance twice on different days and then come back on a, on a third day with the explosives. But we'll be doing, we are actually going to do that mission uh, shortly. Okay, let's get started. Pop our mission cards there. Okay, so uh, let's move. So first thing uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to send this guy up to Radio B. It's a risk because that area there is, is blocking it. So next up, we will then get our card. So in this case, we're going to go to the first place, which is the fence. So he goes on there, put that in the discard. And uh, next up, I am going to send this fella to the grocer so that he can get some food. We will then pull out a patrol card. Radio B. Radio B is occupied. Grocer is occupied. So he now wants to go to the black market, which uh, spells problem for our radio operator. <laughs> so he's now on the black market because the other spaces were occupied. Uh, next up, I'm going to send our fella here to the calf. And we'll draw another patrol card. So the grocer is occupied, and this space here is not the North Bridge. <laughs> okay, so he's now going to radio in for a gun. Put the gun on the field. So that will be there to collect on the next uh, next move. Um, uh, what's up there? What is with the uh, the, the cup of tea? <laughs> well, you got to, you know, uh, sit back and relax with a cup of tea whilst uh, whilst I slowly put everyone to sleep. <laughs> it was of a rare, uh, royal tea, obsessed with tea. Although you don't make it in a teapot, though you you make make it in a. Oh. 
Didn't that just make you want to go to the toilet? <laughs> yeah, and don't forget the biscuits. <laughs> Okay, where were we up to that? So he, he's radioed in, but unfortunately for him, he's shafted. Um, and let's see, we have our uh, guy at the grocers. He is going to get one food. So put that in our inventory. I tell you what, we'll put the inventory here just so we can see it at the side there. And this is where I disagree with the rules. Uh, and our other worker here, now that we have that food in our inventory, I'm going to spend that food, put it back into uh, stock to get us another resistance fighter. And now, all of our units can come home. So he's coming home with his new friend. Uh, this guy's coming back from the grocers. Now, unfortunately for this fella, he can't get back. No matter which way he tries, the police get him. And he's been shot. <laughs> Is it you can make it in a teapot? <laughs> we, 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 we need evidence. You have to put it in the tea section. Oh, that's the thing as well. For, uh, for those of you that are just joining us today, uh, if I get the right buttons here, uh, you are welcome to join our, uh, our Discord, uh, where we have sections devoted to tea. <laughs> and you can also see the stream schedule for the next three weeks, because we stream every night. <laughs> uh, okay, um, all of our workers are back, so now we move on to the next day. So I'm going to move the little token down to the day two slot. Uh, and what we can do is, we could, and what we're going to do is when we play by my slight variations, we would then move the, the morale tracker down, but... We don't, because we're just playing it in the default thing. Uh, what's up there? I like my uh, teapots to be... Well, you can have your de decorative ones, but then you've got like one which is like the functional one. The one that you're actually going to make the tea with. <laughs> just thinking, because remember, making all those teas in it as well, you're going to have all that extra flavour, which is going to, uh, you know, it's going to you know, be held inside of the, uh, the walls of the teapot. Because you're not supposed to wash them out, or, or scrub them out, rather. You know, you, you just, just rinse them out. <laughs> okay, it's a new day. Let's pop our meeples back up there. So, we've got the gun. So, move one. We're going to send him to the field to pick up the gun. We're going to grab a patrol card. Radio A. So, the first fellow is going here to Radio A. Okay, we need to get a start on some of these other missions. So, I'm going to send him straight across the bridge here. So that he can do the graffiti. For rare for that mission. And uh, right, he, he can't go there, but he can go there. So that isolates that section. Okay, what else are we gonna do? We risk it. Yeah, let's risk it. I'm gonna send this fella all the way up here to do the other graffiti. And we will flip that over. And um, Melise goes to Radio A. Can't. Can't go here. But he can go to the black market. Now, is that going to... Oh, no, that's just that's going to work out really nicely for us. So that's our move. So now we have to do the actions. So he's here, so he's going to graffiti. I'm just going to put that up there to keep track of it so I know where it is. He's up here, so he's going to do his graffiti. And this fella here is going to take the gun and we will pop it into our inventory. Um, what's that? Oh, not the microwave again, JD. Ah. Oh. What we're we gonna do with you, <laughs> JD? And his microwave tea. <laughs> uh, oh, you uh, over in uh, in uh, uh, Puerto Rico there? What uh, what time is it for you guys over there? I'm always curious about what time everyone's at. Um, we are at uh, it is uh, just ten past ten uh, for us uh, for us here. <laughs> So it'll be 10 past 11 for JD, is, is that right? I can never remember if it's one or two hours difference for uh, for JD. Um, okay, what, uh, right. so now we've got that, we've got our inventory. Now we're going to bring all of our meeples back. There was no blockage, so everyone got home safely that night. And the police go home for another day. Causing trouble and tyranny. <laughs> okay, we've now advanced to a new day. And... Okay, we don't really have to do too much. So what I'm going to do is I am going to build a safe path to do this graffiti. So I'm going to move him there. The police are going to go to Point Levesque. Uh, I just realized I pulled out that card. <laughs> we're, 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 we're going to move him there anyway. Uh, and Radio B, so he's going up there, which is fine. And then I'm going to move 
him up here. He's going to the fence, which is no bother at all. So now we have the uh, the actions. Did I just... Uh... Oh, I didn't move the character, did I? <laughs> I never mind. Um, so he's going to perform his action of the, the graffiti. Pop that up there. Uh, the other people... Uh, well, you might as well come back with the food. Doesn't make any difference because we're not going to use it. So that's our inventory. And these fellas have a safe route home. We roll the day. Now, because we land on orange day, we move the morale track down a square. I, I like with these the, these components where they're having the two layers. The board here has the two layers as well because you, you can just roll the blocks into it. <laughs> it's uh, quarter past six in the evening for uh, for you guys over there. <laughs> about uh, about four hours difference, you're saying there, Roti. I'm too tired to do the calculation in my head. <laughs> Okay, let's pop everyone back here because we have to reset for the next day. So, we've moved the morale track down, but we still have only three Melise there. So that's that's fine, that's in there. Um, now, this is technically the final day. This is going to be the end of this first, first, first game completely, which is why I think the rules are just too easy. Um, so, we have to send one of our workers up here. We also have to send one of them here because it's a parade day to shoot. Uh, and that will complete the missions. So I'm going to send him up there. You know what he's got there. He's with, with the, he's got his gun. Uh, we will then draw the final card in there, and he's going to the grocer. So we'll bring him down here. And the next one, the next meeple, we will do. We will send him up there to do his graffiti. And what we do is when we run out of the cards, we just simply take the deck. And I can't shuffle cards to save my life, so we're just going to have to roughly guess that these are technically randomized <laughs> and then we can pull that there so radio b is for the next one but it doesn't really matter because that's it we've won uh using the default by the book uh, 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 rules which is why i wanted to do a very very quick playthrough of the first thing because that's it we, we've won both missions we've taken the gun here to the parade on parade day and we've also done the um the final graffiti so that, that is it the introductory mission is complete so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to very very quickly reset this and we're going to do the exact same mission but we are going to play it with my slight variation on the rules so that the game lasts more than two minutes <laughs> i'm going to put these two over here because i keep picking them up by mistake uh, we will pop our markers on there so we can track the progress in the mission we have three melees there uh, and I've knocked over all the little tokens over here, but it's alright. <laughs> okay. So, a variation that now I'm going to play with the rules is, whenever a character gets arrested, uh, we will move the morale track down by one. And, if, say, for example, he goes up here for food, the food cannot be used until the following day. So he has to bring that home, because if he, if I say this guy he is here and he's going to recruit this other fella, um, you know, he's not going to come on the promise that there might be food back at base. Um, <laughs> if, uh, the way I see it is it has to be brought back. Otherwise, you've got the scenario where, I suppose, you know, this person here will go, all right, I'm going to get the food, I'm going to take it here and give it to him. It just gets a bit... It just doesn't feel realistic. <laughs> uh, if you know what I mean. So, we're going to make it more difficult for ourselves that way. Um, so it's not like we're making it easier or anything, we're complicating matters. <laughs> Okay, so let's uh, get started. Um, right, I'm going to send this fella up to Radio B. And he wanted to go to Radio B, but he's going to go now to the grocer. Oh, this is, not, this is looking really, really bad for the first turn. <laughs> um, we don't want to we'll get food on the next round. Okay, uh, I'm going to try and secure a route back for the Radio B guy. I'm going to send him here. Because also he can do the graffiti task whilst he's there as well. And the Melise are going to Radio A. So we'll pop that in there. Just realize the player board has just moved slightly too far down. <laughs> okay, so we've got two Melise out there. So, uh, where shall we send this fella? Right, let's, let's go... Uh, sh should I really secure... Right, that, that, that's, let's go for complete madness. This could be a really, really bad idea. I'm going to put that on, on the other bridge. 
Oh, look at that. So we can't go on there. He can't go on there because we've occupied it. But he can go to the doctors. So that's really good. <laughs> okay, let's all perform our actions now. So I want him to radio in for a gun. So there's a gun waiting for us on this field to, on the next day. The thing is what I should have said in the, in the rules. The things that we call in for on the field, we can't collect them till the following day. You can't put uh, a character on here waiting uh, for something. Uh, it's got to be the next day, which is obviously good. You're just going to ring it up and then, um, you know, it's got to be airdropped in. Um, okay, so he's radioed in for that. That's his action. These two guys are going to perform their graffiti actions, which are towards this mission. Okay, so that's them done. And then they're going to trace a route home. So he comes home, he follows a route home. He can't go this way, but he can cross the bridge and scoot over here. And then it's the end of the day. The traitors, the collaborators, go back to wherever it is, whatever hole it is they crawl out of. And the day gets advanced by one. No arrests. So we actually done really well for that first day. So next up, what we're going to do is, sh shall we go all out? Because this is still going to be quite... Because uh, <laughs> we didn't get any food on the first turn anyway. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to put put him on the gun so he can collect the gun. He'll have no problem, of course, getting from there. Which is as well, the police will never land on the cafe or the fields either. So these three squares here are perfectly safe. And the safe rooms are as well there. Oh, can, can we grab it? <laughs> uh, thank you again there, uh, uh, once again there, for the uh, for the bits there, JD. <laughs> it's just you wouldn't grab that. <laughs> Uh, okay, we've advanced the day marker by one there as well, haven't we? So, uh, right, first off, he's going to the grocer. Right, we're not going to get any food, but I think we're actually going to complete this anyway without any hindrance. So, okay, so he's gone to the grocer. Let's pop that down there. Uh, next up, uh, should I risk it? Right, he couldn't go back there. Right, you know what? I'm going to make a secure route home, and I'm going to put him over on the other side of that bridge. Okay, radio B. He slides across to there. And I'm going to take our last resistance fighter, put him up here so he can perform the final uh, task of that mission. Oh, oh this is uh, we've got a really, really good uh, 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 set of cards here. So radio A. Okay, everyone performs their actions. He graffitis. That technically means this task is nearing, nearly totally complete. Um... And he can come home. This guy here was holding the bridge open for him just in case, you know, the card said to go to Point Lebec. Uh, that would have, like, stopped him from getting return troop. Uh, and this guy here, he comes back with the gun, which then can go in our infantry ready for the next day. Okay. We'll advance the day marker. The traitors return home. <laughs> um, okay. New day. So, technically this is going to finish the game as well. <laughs> Even though we've complicated it, we have got really, really lucky with a good set of uh, a good set of cards. So I'm going to send out this fella first because I want him to uh, to get that mission done. Actually, no, no, we can't do that mission because it's not a parade day. Forget what I just said. <laughs> He's still going there every once. Um, okay, I'm going to send this worker up here and risk it. We're probably going to lose him because it's probably going to get a blockage. So the grocer. So he goes here. Uh, we could hold open the, the way for him, or we could, we'll, tell you, we'll send him to the doctors just for just for a giggle. <laughs> and he goes to the fence. Oh, we've got a guy who's not going to make it home tonight. <laughs> uh, where should we send our our last guy? Uh, I think we'll just put them here because it'll it'll keep the path open for him. And right, put Levesque, the black market. So the last one goes to the second one down. For the black market okay they all perform their actions uh we don't need the medicine but he's going to take the medicine anyway and these guys come home this guy tries to come home uh, uh but he's shot do <laughs> <laughs> you, you like this one air royalty it, 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 it it's so small as well the um uh do i have a no not that one i want the other ruler <laughs> Oh, fine, you, you, you wait on the floor. <laughs> but, I mean, the, the, the box, it's a tiny little portable thing. You see that? It's just a, a small one to play. It's quite portable for running around in. 
Um, this mission, though, is complete. So that card is done. Don't have to worry about that. The traitors go home. The I'm going to advance that uh, one space for the police because we're now into day three, which is a parade day. Oh, and we also have medicine, which we don't. We're not going to need for this playthrough. We only have two fellas left. However, all we have to do to win is move him up there. He takes his gun. If we want, we can see he goes to the fence. But that's it. We've won the second playthrough with my slight variation of the rules. Now, with this one, though, we, we did manage to get uh, a really, really good set of um, of cards out. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, evening, uh, Black Horse, and welcome in. It's a uh, board game night tonight. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to change the missions, because I, these are the introductory demo missions. So I'm going to pop those uh, to uh, to one side. And normally, you know, you, you, you can shuffle these up or what have you, but I've uh, chosen what missions that we're going to do this evening for our demonstration. Uh, and that is the double agent and the sabotage mission. Mainly because uh, in my practices, I haven't been able to beat these missions myself <laughs> which before before uh, i want to i get the the full the full uh, thing there um but i tell you what though um <laughs> we're gonna have one of those <laughs> okay i'm also gonna fingers crossed that the cameras come back online <laughs> You're going to quickly refresh your screen there, Roti. <laughs> okay, it is quiz time. Uh, for those of you that um, uh, have not been for a uh, quiz before, uh, we have three questions, and these all count to where uh, you get... Uh, the, well, the egg value that you get is um, eggs on our Discord server. Although, technically, I could add on eggs onto Ada eggs, if you just wanted. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna murder JD. <laughs> okay, uh, so we have three rounds. The first round is a more or less, so I will ask you a, uh, a question and the answer will be more or less. We just need a single word. Uh, um, I haven't got an example one here because I've put all the other cards away. Uh, <laughs> um, the second round is a geography question where I'll be asking you for the name of a place. It could be a, a city, it could be a country. Um, spelling is not required as long as we get the just uh, however uh, I will be going off whoever puts the um, the lines in first so and that's based on what I see on my screen which doesn't all the chat lines don't always appear in the same order when they're typed in really quickly at your end so it's whatever I see first with the correct answer on my screen and then we have round three which is the riddle round which um, I think today, for the Big Book of Riddles, is quite an easy one, I think. <laughs> okay, has everybody refreshed their various browsers? I'm trying to hold these cards away over here, but you can't actually see them from where you are because the cameras aren't on screen. <laughs> so I might as well just turn and sit more comfortably. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to ask you a more or less question. Is everyone there? Everyone already there? We've got uh, you've got all your, uh, you, you, you've refreshed all your pages so that you get the as close to the stream delay as possible. I, 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 there's not really that much of a delay. I mean, uh, I look down at my monitor at my feet there and it's like a two second delay uh, for um, uh, on there. But uh, anyway, <laughs> let's go before the time dilates. <laughs> okay, so I want more or less. Does the average taser emit more or less than 40,000 volts? So does the average taser emit more or less than 40,000 volts? And we have a uh, royalty for the more. Uh, the average taser emits 50,000 volts. <laughs> so we have royalty for the win on round, round, uh, round one. I'm going to copy and paste that there. I'll, I'll put the points on at the, uh, after the stream tonight because uh, it's a bit too cumbersome with this setup. Uh, but they will get added on at the end there. 
<laughs> you, you went for the 50-50 there, did you, um, uh, roll T? <laughs> okay, round two. The geography round. Now, um, as with this round, I, spelling is not, not required. However, this is a really, really easy question. The, the, there's no reason that anyone should, should fail this question. Uh, if I do have to read out the clues, however, we will deduct it from 350 chickens to 250 chickens. Um, and I will decide after a random period of time whether or not we move into clue zones. However, that's not really going to be an issue tonight. <laughs> You're probably going to um, uh, get this one before I even finish the question. <laughs> okay. Round two. In which American city is the Golden Gate Bridge? So in which American city is the Golden Gate Bridge? Yep, Roti gets it first on my screen. <laughs> yep, uh, San Francisco. <laughs> Copy and paste Roti's into the quiz line. Oh, this is going to be awkward. How am I going to... That text is really small when I've typed on the spreadsheet. I'm going to bring it across here. It just means I'll cover up half the chat. <laughs> okay, round three. Um, you, just, you just knew there was a famous bridge there. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do with this. Um, okay, round three. Uh, we have... Ooh. Yeah, that, that's uh, that, that, that's where the, uh, the where, where the charm show was uh, based. It's also where... Um, uh, Starfleet headquarters are on Star Trek. <laughs> I, I only ever watched seasons one to three of Charm, then I got a bit bored of it. Um, I never, never saw it like beyond beyond that point. I think that the, the, the they kept on like changing the cast or something, didn't they? Because that that other girl from the first one, she got sacked for being like horrible. <laughs> but anyway, round three, the riddle round. So. Is already <laughs> now this one is really, really easy um, what kind of coat is best put on wet so what kind of coat is best put on wet so round three what do we got and roll tea for the win again so royalty wins all the eggs tonight. <laughs> Actually, can I copy and paste that? Would that work? Oh, no, that won't work. Hang on, where's this code? I'm gonna just attempt. I can't remember if this is the right command. Oh, there it is. Yep, it is working. <laughs> So roll team dominated tonight's quiz. Copy, paste. Yeah, I got the command away. I can't remember which which order you put the values on. <laughs> I had to think of that one for a minute, did you? <laughs> now this is where we're going to pray that the camera's going to come back on the Azumian camera. <laughs> JD gets a sympathy egg, does he? <laughs> Alright, hang on. That's <laughs> E and There we go. <laughs> JD got the sympathy egg. <laughs> okay. Um, we will <laughs> we will uh, uh, now start with our second set of missions for our, our third playthrough uh, this evening. <laughs> Oh, does JD want one of those before we start? Right, a really, really quick one, because hang on, because I have to very carefully, because I don't want to knock the camera. Clipping all these so I can make a, uh, a, cr a creaky, cr creaky compilation. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, let's move that back there. Let's, let's get back to the game. <laughs> uh, okay, so our new missions um, that we're going to be doing next. These are one-star missions, so nice and easy. Uh, we have the double agent. So which is the first one here? Uh, we have unearthed a uh, double agent only known as the Dark Lady. Visit all locations on the west side of the map. So that will be... Well, actually, we haven't put this gun away yet <laughs> from uh, from last playthrough. Oh, actually, we haven't reset from the, the previous playthrough. Put that there, put that there. Where's the other They got executed. There he is. <laughs> uh, all the inventory, and we will shuffle these again in just a minute. So uh, all the west places, so that's these places here. And I think it said with the exception of the fence and the spare room. Once complete, turn over the first card from the uh, the deck here, and the first location is going to be where... So if, if we were to draw this card here, we would have to then send the final player to the fence. Um, now the downside is, though, this one, though, is, uh, is uh, visit location again to complete the mission. Uh, remove one worker permanently from the game, so whoever goes to confront the Dark Lady doesn't make it back but you know the double agent is taken care of <laughs> so right what we'll do is we will put some mission markers i'm just going to move the other mission out of the way for a second there so for this mission we are going to put markers on each of these that we have to visit oh what was that there something bleeped oh it was, uh, xbox just sent me a, a notification that was it <laughs> apparently there's some game on offer <laughs> Uh, right, sorry, which ones did it say that we... Let's bring that card back up here so I can read it on the stream. So the only places on the west side where we don't want to visit, or we don't need to visit rather, is the fence and the spare room. Um, all right, that's fine. So that's those, I have put them on the right places. <laughs> so that's her mission. Let's pop that just on there. Makes no difference which one of those slots you put them on. I just, just put it on the first one available. Uh, are you the um, oh, we, oh I've, I've closed the quiz spreadsheet uh, we didn't see who who's actually got the we didn't do the statistics <laughs> anyway if we remember we'll do the statistics later on <laughs> okay the, the next mission is the, the uh, sabotage mission oh, on a side note on the Monday nights once we get through uh, I've got like a couple of games lined up but the saboteur for the place uh, for the Xbox 360 we will be playing that which is in occupied France as well. However, we were playing the version which is the stream safe version, so there will be no bounty bounties in the strip clubs. <laughs> so, sorry, Chrissy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that game is going to be coming on stream very soon as well there. Uh, for those of you as well that are just joining us today as well, we do stream every night in theme nights. As I said, the full schedule is over on Discord. <laughs> And you can also uh, catch up on every stream that we've done, uh, with the exception of one, I think. <laughs> I think I had to remove one because it was too much issue. Um, you can catch up all of them over on the, uh, the YouTubes. <laughs> and the last one that was available there he was, oh yeah, Little Big Adventure. <laughs> Hopefully we're going to finish that this week. <laughs> but anyway. Um, oh, plus as well, all the board game streams that we've done are also available on there as well, because we've done quite a few now. Um, but okay, the uh, occupation runs um, a munitions factory on the outskirts of the town. Uh, infiltrate and sabotage the operation by any means possible. A worker must infiltrate the factory twice and then return a third day to deliver the explosives. So on three of the three of the days, we have to come here and then go back, so it's back and forth um, on the uh, on the thing there. Um, and then the final day needs to get an explosive. Now we need to get an explosive, which means we are going to have to get two cash so that we can get a chemical lab in a spare room so that we can then take a medicine to it and get an explosive. Let's pop that in there. Uh, what's that there, Black Horse? Uh, see, see you last. Uh, have you sent me a message on something? I'm going to put this mission card up here <laughs> for now. Uh, what am I missing? There's something. Oh, yeah. We haven't shuffled the patrol cards. Or at least I haven't shuffled them with my, like, 
half ass shuffling method. <laughs> now this one's going to be, we're going to be playing it by my rules, so I, items can't be used until they've been brought back home. Um, and whenever we get arrested, we will lose a, um, a character. Okay, let's pop those down there and let's have a little think. What do we need to do? So we need we need to visit each one of these spaces once to perform an action. We also need to get two money. Now, for money, we could get an airdrop of one money each time. Which is probably what we're going to do because we, we need to get two lots of money to get a spare room to be able to get a, um, a bomb to blow up the factory. Uh, okay, where should we start? Uh, I think we will send this fella up to Radio B. Just start off with getting getting at least one money. And oh, right, this is not good. He's now going to the grocer. Shall we secure him a route home? All right, I'm going to secure try and secure him a route home. He's going to go on Point Levesque. Radio A. Oh, that's that's all right. Oh, now you knock that over. <laughs> And then I'm going to take him to the poor district and gamble that the bridges don't get occupied. He's going to the fence. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> okay. Everyone's out. Let's do our actions. So he is going to radio for money. I'm going to just pop that here on the field for the next day. Uh, these two guys have visited here and they're exploring. So I'm going to just put their markers there. So they've had a look. They've, you know, they've listened out found out some more information about the uh, the dark lady <laughs> and then they go home because uh, you know someone's opened them a bottle of wine they've got to get back for it <laughs> too many onion sellers <laughs> okay it's a new day let's roll the day counter down one right so we, we need to make a start on that mission there as well right I'm going to send this fella here to get the money and Radio A, he's going to Radio A, so that's that off the cards. Um, right, I'm going to send him to the grocer to get us some more food, because we're going to lose a worker really soon, I think. Point the back. So he's going over there. And our third one... I'm going to take the risk, and I'm going to send him to infiltrate for one day. Point the back, point the Oh, fuck it, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We lost a worker, but because there's a, a shield here, you can just see there, he still gets to perform his action. So he's done his day one action. Uh, this guy here, he's going to get some food. And he's going to fetch that home. He gets the money and fetches that home. And their comrade doesn't make it. <laughs> And now by our rules, that means we advance the morale track down one. And then we reset for another. We might, like, ah, I've got a funny thing, we're actually going to lose this game. <laughs> okay. It's a new day. Uh, did we advance the day marker? Yes, we did. There we go. Uh, we still need one more money. Now, we could... We could lose the morale and use food because we can use food or medicine to get money but we'd lose a morale at the black market i think that it would be better to send him to the cafe to recruit a replacement for our lost uh, worker there um, oh, and, and, and no, no bother there roti well have a good night um and uh well we'll, we'll, we'll catch you later on Give it, don't forget to give Chrissy a slap uh, before you go to bed. <laughs> okay. The grocer. The police go to the grocer. And oh, should I? Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put him on radio A to call in for money. The police goes to radio B. Now, because we only have two workers, we now immediately just draw another car because we still have the third police. The third police is going to the fence, so we survived. <laughs> only just, only just. So, he's going to spend that food. Now, these tokens are getting the right mess over here. 
to recruit another resistance fighter from the cafe. Uh, and I want him to radio for some more money. If I can get hold of the money token. Uh, we'll just put the money token. Ooh. Cup of tea time. <laughs> we'll put the money token on there so we can be collected on the next turn. And everybody comes home. So we've got a new friend. And he gets straight across there. Okay, let's pop that. Pop that in there. Uh, right, so... New day. So we're going to advance that down there. Our morale track, because we landed on a parade day, goes down one anyway. And that one now has four. So we're going to bring in another police officer. So this is getting really quite difficult now for us. So we now have... They have four officers. We have three uh, resistance fighters. So, it's a new day. I'm going to send this fella here to get the money. And we really need to make some more progress on these two missions. So, I'm going to send him up to the bridge. Well, actually, no, hang on. We haven't drawn our police card yet. Radio B. So, the first one's going to Radio B. And we'll give these another quick... Painfully awful shuffle. <laughs> I really wish I knew how to shuffle cards. <laughs> I'm going to get one of those machines. Problem is, I've got one of those machines. They only fit like average size cards. And I've got different games that have got all different size cards. Alright, that's sufficiently randomised. <laughs> okay, uh, next up, I am going to... Uh, so he's gone for that. I am going to risk it and I'm going to send him up here. He runs the risk of getting cut off. Alright, he's going to the fence. So that's not too bad. Now our last worker taking the big risk because we might lose t oh, I can't risk that for two workers oh. right I, <laughs> I'm going to take another risk we're going to take this last guy and we're going to go to the doctors because we need medicine for the explosives so we might as well get if we can get that into our infantry now right one police officer is going to the grocer and because this, they've still got one officer in play Oh, ooh, oh, that's it. We're screwed. It's going to be game over. Yeah, there's no way for us to win there. Because <laughs> that's point, point in the back. Here we got on there. So now you see this is all blocked off. So it's action phase. He's going to get the money for us and bring it here. <laughs> our, last, our last resistance fighter. Uh, these guys are going to do their scouting. But that's it. <laughs> these guys tried to come home and he shot. This guy tries to make it over the bridge, uh, but uh, is also shot. The day marker advances there, and we're going to advance the morale track by two. <laughs> so, yeah, that happened. <laughs> All right, let's put those up there. Um, okay, he comes home. The only person he's sitting there waiting all night. <laughs> nobody else comes back and we don't even have any food to recruit the last fella um, alright so let's try and get the other worker so I'm going to take him up here so he can go to the grocers and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold this deck up here because it's going to be easier that way so radio B the grocer he can't go to the grocers but he can go to the second one Radio B. He goes down to the second one. Uh, Radio A is not occupied. So, there's no risk of him getting arrested. <laughs> so he's going to pick up some food and bring it home. Sandwich for one. <laughs> right, the morale, uh, the day market goes down one. And these fellas all go home for the night. Wow, this is, this is not good. Um, okay, it's a new day. Oh, look at that. We also advanced that one. And then we'd have five police officers. This is, yeah, we, we're actually going to fail just on the morale track alone, I think. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we will send him to the cafe to recruit another player. So, Radio A for the first one. Point Levesque for that one. 
defense for that one. And then I will painfully shuffle these again. There we go, that'll do. <laughs> radio A. Oh, he can't go to Radio A, but he can go to this space here. And see Radio B, which is over there. Okay, he's going to perform his action and get the last, <laughs> the last resistance fighter <laughs> and come home. <laughs> okay, so... Now we're going to try and put a spare room down. <laughs> so where should we put the spare room? Um, should I do it safely? Right, I'm going to do it super safe. I'm going to send him to the grocer. And the first guy goes to Radio B. Now, our second guy, we're going to put him on the spare room slot. And now the police are just going to deploy them. So radio A. Uh, the grocer, he can't go on the grocer. Poor district, he can go on the poor district. And the final one is for the fence. Okay. So now he's going to perform his action. He's going to spend his two money in rent. And we are going to get a chemistry lab. And put that in that space. So now if we bring a, a medicine... We get an explosive, so somehow we need to get a medicine. <laughs> right. He, technically, this guy gets a food, but I, I, he's not going to get a chance to enjoy his lunch. <laughs> and the police all go back home to the traitor's barracks. <laughs> now, we still have to visit here twice. We still have to get a, a medicine, and we have to visit these two squares here. Uh, right, let's advance the day by one. All right, uh, what's going to be our best bet? Uh, I think we try and use, we try and grab our way to, oh no, we have to finish. No, because we will automatically die when we get to day nine, because once we advance that morale track, well, we, 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 the revolution is over. <laughs> um... There is no way I could safely even like try and storm it because they've got five units. So it means I have to take the safer routes, which means I have to build up a pathway. So I'm putting this here because it'll secure the bridge and then I can put him here so that they have a clean line to return. Uh, okay, first one, point the back. He can't go on there, but he can block the other bridge. Next card, actually say next card. I need to put him on the doctors. Uh, the fence, he can't go on the fence. Uh, yep. And next card, the grocer. So he goes on the grocer. I kind of wish there was more than 10 of these cards. It gets a bit. <laughs> Oops, the amount of times we're having to like re reshuffle them. It's like 20. Next one, Radio B. Just that one there. And then the fence. He can't go on the fence, but he can go on to that slot there. Okay. So, actions. He's going to get his medicine and come home. Because that goes into there. And he's just going to run home because he was holding the bridge open for us. And it's a new day. We advance the track by one. <laughs> um... Yeah, there's absolutely nothing because we automatically lose a morale point on the next day. So even if we were to survive doing each of those, we wouldn't be able to do the third action of finding her. And we need to come on here on two days. Yeah, we're well and truly shafted. But we will play to the death. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, it makes a difference. I'll tell you what, let's just send him to try and do the mission. <laughs> Radio A. 
And we will send him over here to try and do that mission. Point the X. So that's one way shut. The grocer. That's it. They're dead. <laughs> There's now no route for either of them to return. Uh, point the back. Uh, point the north. <laughs> uh, radio B, which is this one here. There we go. So he technically performs his action up here. He technically performs his action there. And he tries to come home. And he tries to come home. And they never make it. The war is lost. Nuvian is conquered. <laughs> so there we go. Now, do you just want... Do you just want me to try that again? Or do you want me to wrap it up here? <laughs> just put some of these little markers back. Three. We lost that one there. Well, actually, no, no, uh, no cancel that. We lost... Uh, we are going to go through the, the card art... Because I completely forgot we were going to do the card art as well. Which is what we do on all of these uh, uh, board game streams. And then we'll see. Maybe we can do another game. <laughs> okay, so. We'll go through all the different uh, different cards, the different missions. We'll take a close look on the close-up cam. Can I just move the microphone a smidge bit here? So that I'm not injuring myself trying to get over there. Yep. <laughs> okay, so. First off, we'll have a quick look at the patrol cards that you see here on the, the zoom in cam. Which is still like a mile away from my arm. So, let's just pop that there. So, we have, uh, the, the, as it, the, each of these, the, there is actually a thing in the manual. Because some people, uh, where is it? This little bit here, if I just bring it to the side there. Each one of those represents what is on each one of these cards. And what some people do is they like to use the manual and they put a marker on each one of those every time one is drawn so that they have an idea of what's going to come. Um, they the say that they recommend that for the more difficult missions. Well, I haven't got through all those missions yet, so I'm not that far through it. So, um, I, in a minute, I, 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 I don't plan on using that option, but to be honest, I probably wouldn't use it anyway. I'd, 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 I think I'd rather have the randomization of, of, of not being able to predict where they're coming in. Okay, so as I said, these cards here, they have, you know, each one of them has the name of their, their location. So there's only, only 10 of these. So you, as I say, you know, you've got the, the first, you first try for the grocer, then in this case you try for the poor district, and then you would try for the doctors. If not, you go into arrest mode, and you uh, do the first one that you encounter. So we've got that one there. This one on here. And these ones here, if I can get hold of the bloody thing. <laughs> so there we go, that's those cards. Pop those to one side. Let's have a little look at the, the meeples next. So we've got the soldier, the resistance fighter, the filthy collaborators. <laughs> a really nice quality though. And we have our little track things. Ooh, that's going a bit weird. <laughs> Grab all of them. Dump those in the corner. We have the morale slash soldier tracker. I said that the quality on this is really, really nice because it's a double layered thing and you can see there in the gaps, you can see the little little inserted slot there where you can pop them in there. So this is, this is really, really nice. Well, I've just knocked over the light controls. <laughs> it's all gone horribly wrong. <laughs> Let's pop that one back there. Oh, get that other little marker. Right, I'm just going to gather up the spare rooms. And we'll look at all the tokens, and we'll do all the missions in like one, in one go. So, we have the fixer. So with the fixer, uh, you would spend one money to get. Uh, what was the key? All oh, right, right. So, actually, put the player, the player right here, just for a little bit. So the key is add a spare room tile in um, a current location if empty. 
we have the uh, the chemist. So you spend two medicine to get one poison. So some of the missions require you to have poison. We have the counterfeit. So you'll come here and you'll get your fake ID. Actually, no, that's money. <laughs> that's a, a money token, isn't it? <laughs> We have the propagandist, so this one will increase your morale. So you go to that slot there, and he will increase your morale. Uh, oh, hello there, and welcome in. Oh, do, you, do you like the do you like the camera setup? We have the the, the 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 big view here, so you can see the whole board, and then I have the, the zoom in cam on the green screen, <laughs> so that we can uh, once we do the playthroughs, because uh, you can see all, all these on YouTube as well, all the other board games that we've done. Um, <laughs> But when it, we have a couple of playthroughs, and then we uh, do the, uh, the the card art, and we look through everything in like nice nice detail, so we can all we can all see uh, what all the different things are. <laughs> oh bugger! I've just dropped the tile. Hang on. How much stuff have I dropped on the floor tonight? <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Okay, the next one we have here. Uh, a safe house so that is so if there was no escape to the other safe house we can if we have one of these and our character can make it there he can travel there so if we had the safe room say in this slot um and we couldn't get back over the bridges to the proper safe room uh it were we could then hide there for the night uh, and then we'd start from there the following day and then we have uh, information. So this one here, we would if we were la if we go then back to this spot, we would get some intel. We have the informer, oh, sorry, the forgery, <laughs> where if we have one intel and two money, we can get a fake ID, very expensive. And on this one here, the smuggler. So we come over here, and we have a choice. We can if we have it, if it has a slash, it's an either or. So we could we could get free medicine. And uh, to all free food, you're one of the other to bring home with us. And then finally, the chemist. So the chemist, we would take one medicine, and he gives us an explosive. Right, let's just pull these out of the way. I'm just going to chuck them at the back. Right, this will be two seconds. Going, I'm going to have to gather up these markers for us. <laughs> Actually, I'll throw them in one at a time as I grab them, and we can take a close up at the. The actual resources now they've all fallen over which is problematic because <laughs> now i can't tell how many is i've already put out i'm just going to play a random selection you get the idea any that look like i have i don't think i've got the poison one there let's uh i think that's all of them does that look like all of them got a medicine out there we've got the gun the poison the dynamite Uh, I don't think I've missed one. Uh, the fake IDs there. What I will add though is I'll add a second one of these, because for one of the missions, the this card flips over. So when you destroy it, then of course you flip it over. But these are the different um, resources that we can gather up around the town. So that's all those bits and bobs there. Nice close up. I'll grab those. Stick them in the pile. <laughs> I'll grab the player aid. Ooh, right, can we get the board? This might be really, really tight. I will bring us around the board. Now this is the like, same again. It has, it's two layered. So these are the slots, so, so you can roll the thing. So these are actually indented. Can I get you an angle on that? You, you kind of see it. I turned auto focus off because it goes a bit weird. Uh, but this is the town close up. So you can see all the different places. I'll, I'll do it in like two sweeps so that you can kind of imagine it <laughs> is one unit there we go so those are all the different routes so you can see here all the different things so like so here you can spend a uh this way here you can either spend a, a medicine or a food and you will get a money but you'd lose morale uh over here you would have to have a food and a medicine to uh, to gain a morale Sorry, that's a loser morale on that side, rather. Uh, and these are the, the different points where you have to be able to get back across. And I will try and see. Can I get? I love this artwork on the back here. I love a postcard of this just to to, to to put on one of the shelves. 
a nice little drawn there. It's, it kind of represents the section, the section of the town that we're in. Right, let's pull that out of there. There you go. So you can see that in its entirety. It might not be 100% focused. There you go. There's the artist as well, if you want to look up any more artwork from there, from this artist. And there's the town in frame. Okay, let's gather up the mission cards now. There's quite a few different missions here, so we'll start off with the uh, the zero the zero star ones. These are the beginner ones that we did at the start of the stream today. So we have the officer's mansion. So this one is the um, local commander has uh, commandeered a fancy house in the uh, north of town. Uh, we need to make sure that he knows that the town will not be uh, uh, carried. Place a worker on. Um, well, let's just just bring that a bit more in so that I can actually point to the squares as we go. <laughs> Uh, let's pop that here. Actually, can I just let's put this here, and then if I have to highlight something, oops. <laughs> well, not too bad. I hit, hit, I hit a button now on the stream deck. <laughs> okay, so um, place a worker on this square. Um, the, uh, the 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 North Bridge and Point Levesque down here and place a marker on those so we, we actually put the marker down and we remove them as we play through uh all three uh locations um oh sorry once all three locations are triggered place a worker on this square to complete the mission and you see there it's the the solid block around that little square indicates that the mission ends by having to land a player on this actual square all right let's pop that card there next card so the Melise Parade Day. So uh, the Mace are holding a uh, parade around town. A brave volunteer must uh, show our air defiance. They um, uh, probably won't make it back. So deliver a weapon. So we had to go and buy a weapon or, or get one delivered uh, to this space. Uh, on one of the parade days, which is the orange days on the day tracker. And um, the worker that you place there is ar arrested. So we'll increase the morale by one. Uh, before this mission ends, the, the road between the, f the fence and here, because that must be where they're, they're marching, uh, is not in use, so that's not accessible as an escape route. So if a player was up here doing something, uh, and say there was uh, a police was on this block, they, would get, they wouldn't be able to get home because they wouldn't be able to go this way to return back home. So that's the scenario for that one there. And that is the only no-star missions. let's gather up the one star missions as you can see there there's a one star at the top of the circle let's have a look through uh, some of these I'll just put a stack there and we'll just peel them off one at a time I'm knocking everything over today aren't I <laughs> okay so underground newspaper uh, get the world out um, and count the propaganda of the occupation deliver two intelligence to this location on three separate days so we have to revisit this square uh, three times, but we have to have two intel in our inventory each time that we can spend on this location in order to place a marker on there to advance uh, this uh, location. So that one, uh, quite quite a, quite a long mission, I suppose, to get uh, to get all the intel that you need. Pop that one down there. So what have we got next here? Uh, infiltration. So. Uh, the best place to collect uh, reconnaissance is often from the inside. Insert a mole into the Melise. So we'll deliver two, uh, two intelligence to this location. Uh, the worker must remain here until another worker delivers a weapon and an explosive. While the first worker is here, you may look at the top card of the patrol tech before placement phase. So we would be able to see what was the top card on here whilst the worker is stuck on here between the days. So when you move the day ro uh, ro uh, marker on, he would not come home. Uh, he would just stay up there until you rescued him by getting him out with the uh, by taking the gun and the explosive. So fight your way out and blow up the, uh, the headquarters on the way out. But you would need the two... Um, what do you call it? The um, intels to get in there in the first place. Right, let's pop that one down there. Uh, what's our... Let's see, German Shepherds. 
So on this one, uh, the occupiers have dogs to help, um, to help with patrols. Use poison to eliminate them. Deliver one medicine and one food to each um, sorry, to this location on three separate days. So uh, before this mission is complete, militia units may not be eliminated. Right, so you can't use your gun to eliminate these... Um, to eliminate the police to have them replaced by soldiers um, so, so you you wouldn't be able to do that to escape home and uh, you have to deliver one food and uh, one medicine uh, so we have to visit this we have to visit this on three separate days so you've got to, well, you've got to go and gather the resources each time and uh, keep going back and, uh, and dropping it off there and also escaping back home okay that oh what did I just press <laughs> My stream deck is really close to the camera and I keep on clipping the buttons, so <laughs> just checking that everyone's awake. <laughs> I'm just going to try and slide, I'm going to slide my keyboard over and slide the stream deck. Because I can't actually see the stream deck because my microphone's in the way of it because of the way I'm having to stretch to get over here today. It's all gone wrong. Uh, okay, the... Um uh, the saboteur one. This is one that we just did and failed. So the occupiers, uh, sorry, the, the occupation uh, runs a munitions factory on the outskirts of the town, infiltrate and sabotage uh, by any means necessary, uh, any means possible. Even uh, a worker infiltrates twice and then returns on the third day with the explosives. So this one here is what we were trying to do before. We had to get here, but we also had to then, of course, get home. So we had to visit here to have a look around on one day. We come back another day. And um, uh, you know, have a look around again. Then we have to come back. Then on the third day, once we've managed to manufacture a bomb, to then blow up the munitions factory. And then this was the other one as well. There, the uh, the double agent. Uh, we must unearth um, the uh, double agent, known only as the Dark Lady. Visit all the locations on the west side of the river. So it was all the locations with the exception of the fence and the spare room. Uh, we had to visit each of them once to perform the action of looking around. And once we've done that, then the first card that we would then draw from the patrol deck would be the location where we would have to go. But we would complete the mission, but we will sacrifice uh, one of our uh, resistance fighters in the process. And that concludes the level one cards. And now we have the level two cards. So this has the two stars on them. Let's pop these here. Now, I haven't tried any of these, so I'll have to, I haven't actually read all of these. So this will be uh, us learning them as we go. <laughs> so assassination. Uh, the police is a paramilitary force. Um, of local folks uh, colluding with the occupiers. Um, we need to send a message to teach these uh, collaborators a lesson. Eliminate all police units in this mission. Um, this, this task must be completed last. So whatever our other mission is, we have to do first, and then we have to eliminate all the police. So it means that we would need five guns to... Um, so we'd have to get enough money to get five guns, or airdrops to get five guns. Uh, and then every time we take one of them out is replaced by a um, a soldier which then can't be eliminated so just to add that extra extra <laughs> extra level of difficulty or oh, the green screen likes this one <laughs> uh, okay uh, destroy the train uh, we've received intelligence that the occupiers uh, or the occupation is going to be transporting um, or panzers along the uh, the railroad uh, near your town, uh, plant a bomb to destroy the trains. So deliver three explosive to this location. This mission can already be completed on days uh, six, seven, five, and nine. So much like the parade ones there. So we see we've got the days down there, and on one of those days we have to bring three explosives. So we need to get the, in time. You would have to get the chemist, and then go back there three times to get three lots of explosives. Okay, next one. Liberate the town. The Allies are pushing forward. Uh, if we uh, rise up at the right town, uh, at the right time, even, uh, our town could emerge unscathed. Uh, for that, we will need weapons and courage. So possess at least three uh, weapons and four morale at um, 
at the end at the point the day track moves to the end also this one you would actually have to to work all the way down to the very end to uh, to get this one uh, but it's, it's supposed to be, and you got to maintain it for morale uh, as well so you would have to be constantly battling to keep yourself in that slot <laughs> Okay, which is our next one here? Aid the spy. Uh, see, a, a British spy um, parachuted in a few days ago and uh, needs our help. Provide him with equipment and supplies to help him carry out his mission. So deliver two guns uh, to the spy on one day and then followed by one money and two food on a second day. So you'll see here as well, uh, some of these cards have a number on them. So that indicates the order they have to be the order they have to be done in. Uh, so you can see there as well, we've got two gun icons, and then you can see the food and the uh, and the money there uh, to aid the spy. So uh, I don't think that would be too bad at mission, I suppose. Do you get an airdrop for the free food? It's just the, uh, the guns. You can do it all by airdrops, I suppose. I don't think that would be too bad a mission. Uh, I would like to play this game on stream again. We'll do a few more of the missions. So what we've got here now. Um, bomb for the officer. So the, the German plane landed in, in the field southwest of town. The uh, the pilot is um, is in the hotel nearby. Uh, perfect time to strike. Uh, you must have at least five morale to carry out uh, this mission. Deliver one weapon and one explosive to this location before this mission is complete. The uh, the east field and the south uh, south spare room uh, are unusable. So that would be if I get I'm just reaching right behind me here. <laughs> that would be these two slots. I'm just trying to like watch the stream to see where my fingers are. So we couldn't use these ones here. So that would be them them dudded. <laughs> Let's pull that one there. Okay, ooh, this one. Uh, let's see. Take out the bridges. Uh, the occupation has enjoyed uh, unfettered access to the city for too long. Uh, slow them down. Destroy a bridge. Um, deliver two explosives to the, the black uh, to the black market. Um, at the end of the day, place a marker on the bridge of your choice, which connects the black market. All right, so. This one here, we have to deliver the two explosives and we will one day take out this bridge, then deliver another two explosives and take out this one. And that will then render that bridge is no longer an escape route. So if we uh, if we took out you know this one here, we wouldn't be able to travel back to go across it. So they would have to go this way. And then I suppose once that's all completely cut off, this would then be the only way that you could complete your, your, your leftover mission by going uh, up that way. Okay, what do we got next? Uh, coded message. So, uh, knowledge is power. Uh, work with other resistance fighters um, from other cities to, uh, to monitor the occupation. Train a uh, cryptographer um, that have them uh, communicate with other resistance operatives. Uh, the work, uh, worker must be placed here by the end of day six and must remain here until day 10. So you would lose a resistance fighter to sit on this spot and uh, for um, a chunk of, of it whilst they're sitting decoding the messages. Oh, and that's the end of the level two missions. Next, we have the four level three missions, which are these giant cards that came as part of the, uh, the Kickstarter bundle. So these don't quite fit. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have the uh, destroy the AA guns. So we'll go to here. Uh, the liberation of Fr um, France approaches, and the Allies um, will surely um, uh, be near. Uh, take out the AA guns that the occupiers have positioned in the um, uh, sorry in, in and around the town uh, to ensure air support. Uh, place the AA tokens on both fields, uh, Rue uh, de Barrett and the Black Market. The the fifth gun emplacement is on this location. So objective, spend an explosive or a weapon 
at the um, at an AA gun emplacement uh, position to destroy it. Okay, uh, no airdrops can be made on fields with uh, with an AA gun in place. And if three AA guns are disabled, the mission is successful. All right, so we don't have to destroy all of them. Uh, if all five are disabled, it's considered a major success. So that's like extra bonus points then for, for yourself if you can take out all of them. Uh, that sounds like quite a good mission. Maybe as well, maybe as well try and do that on the next stream. Let's put that big card there. Okay, um, free the resistance leader. So, uh, the resistance leader has been captured and will be transported away from the town soon. Uh, free him from the occupiers or make sure uh, he at least uh, can't tell them any secrets. So, <laughs> what we're going to do? Objective one, uh, spend information and money on this location before day five to uh, bribe the clerk and discover the location of the prisoner. Uh, day, uh, sorry, uh, objective two, spend a uh, poison on this location before the end of day nine to um, succeed the, the mission or uh, spend a fake ID and two weapons uh, sorry, two weapons and a medicine to uh, increase the soldier track by two <laughs> wow this is really good. on uh, on day 10 to achieve a major success so you're just adding more complication to yourselves so yeah so two sets of two sets of objectives on that one um yeah, I think that would be quite a difficult mission, actually. Well, I suppose that's why it's level 3. <laughs> okay, the green screen loves this one as well. So, bomb the barracks. <laughs> uh, German soldiers are um, stationed right outside the town. Draw them out with a distraction. Uh, bomb their barracks and slow the Nazi war machine. So, soldiers uh, start... Um, soldiers... Uh, oh, sorry. Soldiers start on free. So, that's on the, on the morale track. So, on... On this thing here, soldiers started free, so they're already out on the board. So, uh, visit all locations to recon the barracks. To, uh, so, so visit this location. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, you got, so, like the saboteur one, we have to come here twice on separate days, and then on the third day, we have to spend a, a fake ID and two explosives on this location because you can see it's got the solid line around it. And then on the same day, spend uh, spend a second worker on an empty field. Uh, so place a second worker on, on an empty field and spend a weapon to distract the soldiers. Yeah, so they go onto one of these fields and cause chaos, which then will draw must draw them out so that um, you can plant the bomb. And uh, let's see. Yeah, weapons to distract the soldiers to achieve a major success. Yep. Yeah. And the final card we have is the Melissa HQ. So the Melissa established their um, regional headquarters in the edge of town. Nobody um, knows who to trust. Uh, we need to clear out the rats and let the, uh, the town feel safe again. So morale starts at four, so there's already extra Melissa on the board. So um, objective one, discover the plans of the building uh, at the uh, public records office in Rudabert, so that would mean we would go to, if I can get my hand behind me here, to this square, <laughs> to get the plan. Oh, I almost slapped the stream deck again. Uh, objective two, uh, we have to um, spend two poison on this location to um, strike the, uh, to, uh, uh, to, so we're going to poison the water and gain uh, two, gain two morale, um, so we gain two on the morale track and three on the soldier track. Uh, if the soldier track was on three already, um, success otherwise major success. So yeah, so that's that's all the all the missions, and that is all the various cards. As well, technically, I know we had it on screen before, but there's the player aid. <laughs> well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is. If I turn my microphone around, my key. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. There, this is a really, really nice little game. We've, we've played it quite a bit. I want to. Uh, I'm slowly trying to work through all the missions as well. We've only just done like a couple of missions here tonight. Let's just turn this over because I really like this artwork on the back. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. There, uh, we will return to this game because I want to play through some more of the missions on stream. 
I just pop these off to one side. But there is other board games coming up in the future. And if I can just actually you know what? It might be safer just to slide these over here. <laughs> Use that, slide them away. <laughs> and I'll show you some of the other games that are coming up if I can get them in frame. So coming up, we have Terraforming Mars Ares Expedition. This is absolutely ludicrously huge, this box. <laughs> We will have, coming up as well, uh, Study in Sorcery, and we also have the uh, Divinations expansion. Tiny Epic Zombies, which is a really nice game. We play this one in bed quite a lot. <laughs> so we'll be doing, uh, doing that one as well. Another one that just came the other day, uh, I haven't actually played through this yet, I've only read the rules, but we have Micro Cities, which is another tiny, tiny little game in here. Um, we will be doing this one on stream. Uh, so I've only just got, got as far as reading the rules, because it's only just arrived. <laughs> so I'll pop that one over there. It is my intention that we are going to slowly make our way through the Lord of the Rings, uh, the card game collection. Uh, I think this has actually fallen over in the box. It feels like everything's all gone a bit screwy inside here. <laughs> it's just, everything's all fallen out of place. Yeah. But I, I really, really would like to go through all of the different different uh, scenario missions. Uh, I'm just struggling with the rules at the minute because it comes with a novel just of all the rules. And finally, what arrived the other day, I had no idea that this was this big <laughs> this is a uh, cape may it uh, has just come out it was supposed to come out last year but it was delayed um this is absolutely i mean look at the size look at all the parts you get absolutely immense this one here we will be doing this on stream but i don't know how we're going to manage to because the board is bigger than the, the the board game desk that we have with the overhead camera um i had no idea this was going to be this big so you're definitely getting your money's worth for component wise out of this one uh, but yeah, we'll be doing Cape May as well at some point, at some point soon. <laughs> okay, everyone, uh, we are going to wrap up there tonight. So I hope you enjoyed this one there. Um, I do like this game. We, as I said, we will be coming back to uh, to more of, uh, of Maki in the uh, in the future. But we have all the other board games as well that we need to uh, we need to uh, play through as well, uh, including things like Cape May. <laughs> There's also the Stardew Valley board game, which is coming out in a matter of days, as Royal Team have mentioned before, which we also have pre-ordered, so we'll be playing that one as well uh, when it comes out. So we are going to actually play it multiplayer, but we're going to play it between... Um, myself, Royal Team, and Christy will have... We're going to try and mirror the boards between our two locations so that we can uh, all like play together and uh, i'm really looking forward to playing that because I, I, I love some stardew valley <laughs> uh, okay uh, let's press some buttons before i knock anything else over <laughs> yep yep lots of games to look forward to there jd uh, let's press this button yep <laughs> okay who have we got that we can go and raid uh, have I got a stack of messages here? I never read messages on here. But, uh, I've got like 16 messages on on, uh, on the thing here. I'll, I'll read those later on. <laughs> i get to them eventually. Uh, okay. Um, who is online that we can go and harass? Someone... Uh, well, what's he doing? Why is his thing coming up twice? Uh, well, what is he playing? Do I do I want to watch that or not? What? If... Oh no no never mind. We're not gonna go there. <laughs> Um, I don't know, it's just it's good to see easy because it's getting too complicated. <laughs> it's, it's easy to see easy. Okay, uh, let's go and harass, harass easy. Um, okay, uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, tomorrow, what are we doing tomorrow? What day is it today? Where am I? Who are you people? Um, 
uh, oh, tomorrow uh, we are having a nice easy night. We are going to be playing some uh, Counter Strike. So Counter Strike free to play game. If any of you uh, have got it, you're more than welcome to uh, to join us. Uh, I'll keep myself in one of the voice chats, and we can all have a have a bit of a laugh on that for a couple of hours. And then on Sunday we'll be playing the Good Life. And then it's back to regular scheduled programming for next week. <laughs> okay, um, let's fire up the thing here. So thank you for watching, everybody, and thank you as well for the uh, for uh, all, all the bits there as well tonight, there, JD. So uh, have a good night. And uh, I've got the wrong. Oh, this is all going tits up today, isn't it? <laughs> right. Let's hopefully I can press the right button on here. So have a good night, and we'll see you all next time. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. If you are enjoying our journey and would like to see more, then please rate, comment, favourite and subscribe in whichever manner your chosen platform allows. If you are joining us on Twitch, Mixer or YouTube, where we have loads more for you to watch, from our live streams to all our episodes across our various series. You can also drop by and say hi over on Discord, where we chat about everything from Minecraft to books and movies to tabletop games. But most importantly, thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.